Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about how I got into UT Austin. I am going to be an incoming freshman at UT Austin as a McCombs business student, so have fun. Anyways, this video is going to be about my high school stats, my resume, which includes my extracurriculars, and, you know, I'm just going to give you advice along the way. Um, disclaimer, I did originally get capped, which is UT's way of deferring. However, I appealed and then I got into the college and luckily got my major. I'm not going to be talking about my appeals process for too long. So if you want a separate video, please comment down below. So it is really scary putting your grades out there on the internet for everyone to see. But the reason why I'm making this video is because last year I was like on YouTube scrolling, like looking for these types of videos to try to like gauge my chance of acceptance. And these videos can be helpful, which is why I'm making one but it becomes toxic when you start comparing your own achievements to other people and I know like naturally watching these videos you are going to do that but just like keep that in check and just know that you did enough and don't jump to any conclusion based off my video. So yeah just keep that in mind and enjoy. So this video is going to be in four parts grades, classes, resume, and essay. So great, it's the most juiciest part of this video. So my weighted GPA was out of a 5.0 scale and it was 4.4. My unweighted GPA was out of a 4.0 scale and it was 3.7. My rank was, I was 54th out of 669 people and so I was 8%. And so I wasn't in the 6%. So like how that works is like I'm in state, so I live in Texas. And so the 6% rule applies to my school and so basically the top six percent of your class gets automatic admission but they just might not get their major so like i was in a position where i did not know if like i could get in and especially like i was applying for a business major and so that's like one of their most difficult majors so i honestly did not know throughout high school i got one c and i've gotten probably like equal like B's and A's? Okay, maybe more A's, but like still, I got a good amount of B's. So one C or even two C's, doesn't matter, will not ruin your life, right? B's will not ruin your life either. So don't freak out. Um, but the reason why my GPA is still relatively high is because I did take a lot of classes and I took mostly pre-AP or AP classes. So yeah, what I want you to get out of this is that grades are not everything and i know everyone says that and it gets real annoying but like i'm not saying that grades don't matter at all like i think grades are like the foundation but like you will not die if you get like one or two c's or if you get some b's like it really doesn't matter as much as you think like in terms of caliber i think essays matter the most they want to see like who you are and that's the best way to show that so please don't stress out like I did last year. Personally, I think that SAT scores matter the least in your college application. I mean, there is a certain score that they're expecting to get and it like varies every year. Like I'm not sure. But like, if it's, unless it's like really, really low, you're good. So next, classes. I've only taken one extra class during my four years of high school and that was AP Human Geography, like during a summer. And this is the list of the AP classes I took during high school. So Human Geography, Statistics, Language and Composition, Literature and Composition, US History, Physics One, Calculus BC, Environmental Science, Macroeconomics, US Government, Computer Science Principles, and psychology and i've taken nine ap exams so now i'm gonna talk about the resume that i submitted to ut forgot to say this but resumes are actually optional for ut on your online application there should be like a section where you input your achievements but i just like didn't have enough space so i decided to send in an extended resume so in my objective section i just wrote about like three sentences about like how i wanted to go to ut and the education section i wrote like my high school name and like the gpa 
that I had and at the extracurricular section I started like you know putting my extracurriculars so the honor societies that I was in were National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, and Muy Alpha Theta which is like a mathematics honor society and then I was the founder and president of my own club, Letter U, and it was a pen pal club where we exchanged handwritten letters and we actually partnered with a school from Wisconsin this year. So yeah. And I was the vice president of Korean Culture Club for two years and I was the student council president my sophomore year. I was in Pace Setters, which is my school's drill team, dance team. And I did that for two years and for one of the years I was treasurer and I was in FBLA just as a member for four years and FBLA is um, Future Business Leaders of America. That's where I get like most of my awards. And then the volunteering programs that I did were Chick-fil-A Academy and MVP. And so Chick-fil-A Academy, it's like sponsored by Chick-fil-A. It's like to promote leadership within your communities. Yeah, and MVP is just my school's like volunteering thing. I just wanted to pop in and say that I do lean toward having like a lot of extracurriculars and it's actually a little bit excessive but like rather than having like being in a lot of clubs and all that it's more important that you are involved and you are passionate about like each thing that you are in. Next I had an internship section because I did have five internships over the years and so the like the names of the internships I did were mobile application intern, instructional design intern, research support intern, social media intern. So I did two research support intern internships and these I just did them for professors at a nearby college and so yeah. Anyways then I had my work experience section and so I talked about working at Grub Burger Bar and Torchy's Tacos and in those places those are like fast food restaurant you know so I did like front of the house like you know waitress like delivering food type of things and I also like tutored around so for my volunteer section I wrote about how I was a Korean school teacher I actually did like individual classes and then I went on to do like to be a student teacher in like a large middle school like a large class of middle schoolers yeah and I also volunteered at a school for special education early on in high school and then like next is my award section so as I said before those are like my FBLA awards and the type of competitions I participated were global business, business communications, and then I had an additional info section and there I put languages and just like the like online like applications that I could use. So for languages, I wrote fluent in Korean and beginner in Spanish. Yeah, for like online applications, I did like all the things like I knew how to use like you know word excel and i've also had some experience with like website makers like wordpress all of those things yeah excessive essays so i applied to ut austin through apply texas and there's like this one essay that you just have to do for apply texas and i just basically wrote about like my struggles um in drill team like doing dance doing school and how I overcame those things but honestly it was not well written because the mistake that I made was I talked about too many things and there was a word limit so I couldn't fully explain myself and how I like overcame those struggles as well like I talked a lot about how I struggled but I didn't write as well like how I overcame those things so that's something that I would fix and I know, I remember there was a supplemental where it asked you like, why should like we choose you? Like what could you offer to like campus, you know? I wrote the typical like second generation immigrant story um, just to be like safe. In no way am I saying that the struggles of a second generation immigrant are invalid, but it's just extremely commonly written about. So I would stray away from that about whatever you think is important. Like, what do you think that the college should know about you? 
if you think it's important enough, I don't think anything is too risky. So contrary to the title of this video, I do not know how I got in. It could have been a mix of everything. It could have been one thing that they felt was like, whoa, my appeal was, I don't know, like a little bit of luck. Like you never know, like you just put forth you and basically they decide. And yeah, you could say that the process is unfair and it does seem unfair, but like there is no perfect way to do this. Just focus on putting the best application forward that like complete, just like shows you, that embodies you. And if they take it, they take it. And if they don't, like the harsh reality is that they don't. And that really sucks. I just wanted to say that nothing that you did was wrong. That college was just looking for a different person and that hurts but not everyone is gonna appreciate you and that doesn't make you any less of a person. Everything is gonna be fine. So have a blessed day as always and I love you.